this is our coaching points. I want to make sure you understand. Number one, know the block point and place hands over it. Now, when I talk about place hands over it, I want, I've changed my philosophy of making sure that both hands are out at the block point. But I want to make sure, as you can see right here, I'm reaching as far as I can with both hands. Now, if I try to reach with one hand, I get a little bit more extension. So I'm going to say place a hand over the ball. And now what we're talking about here is that imagine I don't want to reach for it. I don't want to swing down on it. I want to make sure that if this is a table, that I'm stretching my hand off the table and I'm keeping it at that level. I don't want to swat at it. I don't want to swing at it. I want to make sure the visual, one hand at the block point, reaching across and dropping it off the table. Place one hand, outstretch the hand on the lowest point, using a pushing motion. Three, lay out from the outside alignments. That's what we talk about is making sure we're lay. We have to in our block points on the hammer is that if we have to lay out and go get it, make sure we're laying out from outside alignments. Stay two feet to the right or left of punt, punter from inside rush lanes. What we're trying to do, imagine this. The punter straight ahead of me. Here's the punter. And what I'm talking about is the block point is making sure I'm staying on the same side and I'm not reaching across his leg. So what I have found, I used to teach crowing across the leg at the block point, but they, some t they clip the punter more times than not. So what I'm trying to do, if I'm on the right side, this is a punter, and he's a right-footed punter, I'm going to reach across here and get the block point right that that time. If I can't get it, I'm going to run past him and making sure I have a chance to get it. That's why I don't reach and go across the block point, if that makes sense. Number five, pick up ball and advance score behind lines and scrimmage. Now, the reason why I stress that is sometimes we got to talk about whether the ball is blocked, it goes uh, and it still hasn't crossed the line of scrimmage, we want to advance and score behind line of scrimmage. So we want to make sure that we understand that, our players understand, and we coach that up. Number six, partially block punt, ball across line of scrimmage, stay away, and we yell, Peter, 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 to make sure that happens. So those are two, of the five and six are very important that we, we stress it. Sometimes we understand our kids don't understand that, so I want to make sure we stress that all the time because you hate for you to block a punt, goes across the line of scrimmage, and it's a live ball, and our guy touches it or fumbles it, it can be recovered. So those are our coaching points. Those are what we're going to try to talk. 